So as you can see in my last video, we got the valve cam off. And I just don't see any little bit of scoring. All I did was wipe it with a rag. As you can see in my last video. Well, this oil's awful nasty. I'm sure it's full of copper. This one here. If it was torqued proper, should be pretty hard to get off. So I'm going to have to set this down and prop it somehow here. Again, this video is being used for legal purposes and nothing else. Per request of my attorney, legal counsel. I'm going to prop this phone and try to get this gear off. Not sure what you're seeing at the moment. But. Looks like I'll have to get a. What we call a cheater bark. Oh. I got it. Injection cam. Here we go. That wasn't too bad. Probably wasn't torqued right. Man, this is dirty, dirty stuff. Considering it's been changed three times since the engine's been new. Sorry about the poor quality. Guess I should have used the ratchet. It's hard to. Oh. So here's the injection cam. Oh, I forgot to show the plate that holds it. Well, it looks awful clean to me. Nothing on it but oil. Which there really shouldn't be. As far as I'm understanding, according to the book. I don't see any Loctite whatsoever. Okay, I'm going to have to prop the phone while I set up the puller. I don't know if you can see, once again, setting up my gear puller. I'm not going to say who I got it from. It's Zach Repla of Cummings, per my buddy at Cummings. Set me up with it. So let's see if we can get this gear off. Sorry about my poor narrative. I'm extremely frustrated right now after what I just saw up on the valve train. 
this is why you don't use reman parts that aren't supposed to be remanned per Cummings regulation just thought I'd throw that in there so right now everything's so gritty I am just and tighten these down so we can pull this gear. Again, these videos are for legal purposes only. Don't do your motor with these videos, please. stuff going on inside of there. But... Huh. Sorry. It's hard to film stuff sometimes when you're... I should have somebody here, but after seeing what I just saw, I can't... Uh... My fingers are just getting sore. I thought I'd snug these down with my ratchet. been told this is going way too easy oh that was awful easy awful awful easy it definitely spun as the timing showed i don't see anything in there but oil and i can feel some bumpy bumps not good. Let's get a rag and wipe it. I don't know. This video is going to show it very good. It's marked down in evidence. If need be can see the metal sticking out on the gear. It's supposed to be smooth in there. There's a big metal chunk right there. And no. Yeah, that's definitely metal. No evidence of retaining compound. Just as suspected. Ugh. Tired. I don't know if you can see that, but that's metal. Nice. Quality job there. <clears throat> what is this? More metal scoring. I don't know. Hopefully it's visible. The way I'm seeing it. Ooh, what is that? Out there, what you're seeing is a groove. Nice. <laughs> Chunks, grooves. No locking compound whatsoever. No evidence of it. And that gear came off way too easy. Look at that scratch. <clears throat> I wouldn't think I'd be able to move it, but 
how did that bearing, that bearing come out of there? I have no idea. That'll be the end of the videos for tonight. I'm just going to set these here. That's just looking kind of scratched for some reason. I think they got spun when the gear got put on. I don't know. I don't think it spun. Don't look like it. It's hard to say. It's remanned too. Another item you're not supposed to remand for Cummings ISX. Again, this video is for legal purposes. Requested by my legal counsel. Let's see if I can get a little different lighting on that. Nice. Oh, I'm so sick to my stomach right now. Thank you for watching. Sorry about the crappy narrative. I'm trying to keep it together here. Thanks.